You know, it's been more than 24 days and Ever Forward remains ever stuck in the bay. They tried dredging the ship out without success. WMER 2 News' Don Harrison tells us about a new plan from the Coast Guard to get that ship moving and on its way. The massive cargo ship, the Ever Forward, is not living up to its name. After three weeks, it is still stuck in the Chesapeake Bay. The more than 1,000 foot ship with 5,000 containers on board is still stuck in 24 feet of water. The ship needs to operate in at least 42 foot of water. After failed attempts to dredge the boat free, the Coast Guard has another plan. They will move two cranes in and start unloading from both the starboard and the port side. This procedure is called lightering. Lightering, making it lighter. That's Seems the way I lighter, think of it, yeah. So. John Martino of the School of Seamanship has been out to the 130,000 ton vessel. Moving containers that are 8,000 pounds empty while at sea is a dangerous job. Having a five or six ton box at the end of a cable is no easy task. They also have to be careful uh, the order they take the uh, containers off. So they have to make sure that everything stays balanced as they go along. Martino tells us the ship was moving when it hit, so the boat dug a nice trench. The Ever Forward is just off the shore from Downs Park in Pasadena. The whole project should take two weeks, barring any delays by weather. It does not impede regular traffic where it is now. Well, we were up there today and saw a container ship of the same size uh, come out and go, go right by it. So it's, uh, it's, not, it's not in the channel. She's, uh, well, she's out of the channel. That's actually the problem. <laughs> the Coast Guard says that they will only unload the containers during daylight hours for safety reasons. The company that owns this ship is the same company that had a ship get stuck in the Suez Canal. In Pasadena, Don Harrison, WMAR 2 News.